We got the round pulled out. It's rested. I pulled out your cut slots as you can see, but man, it is fantastic. And we're just gonna slice it. Look at this, this knife. Look at that. Look how easy that is. It just glides right through this meat. Doesn't pull it, doesn't tear it. Keeps that bark intact. Hope you're getting all that on camera. Welcome back to Real Flame Barbecue. We are doing a chuck round today. Chuck round is known as the poor man's brisket. It cooks and tastes almost identical to it if you do it correctly. We're going to show you how to do that. Super simple. Stick with us. The chuck round is usually ground up for 80 20 hamburger meat, which is because of the fat uh, content in it. It's the perfect mix. You got 20% fat, 80% meat. Makes the best burger that you can get out of there. We're not doing that today. What we're going to do is we're going to smoke this. We're going to smoke it slow too at 225. I got my pit boss uh, pet smoker going. It's getting up to temp right now. 225 is where we wanted that. It takes about two hours per pound. This is a three pound um, round here. So obviously about six hours. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to decorate this thing up. Okay, this is going to be super simple. Uh, we're going to get the backs out here. We're going to hit it with some salt. Beef can take a lot of every seasoning, and especially salt. So we're going to put some salt on here. Not a whole lot. I know I normally don't do that, but I feel like it needs it on this. Then we're going to add some of our black pepper. This is 16 mesh black pepper. I'm not going to put as much as the, the back underside of it as I am the top. We'll put a little over the side too because we're going to dip the, the edges all the way around in it. That's some more salt back over here. Uh, the reason I use 16 mesh in everything barbecue is simply because it makes a great, great crust on it. We're going to have a little bit of garlic powder. And then uh, a touch of smoked paprika. We'll just press this in. Now, I set this uh, this round out about an hour ago. Let it bring come up to uh, room temp, and it feels great right now. So I'm feeling up. I did dab off the every side of it with the uh, with a paper towel to dry it out a little bit. We don't need that moisture coming up while we're trying to cook. And then while it was while it was coming up to room temp, I actually. Uh, Put some Worcestershire sauce on, some Worcestershire sister sauce on it, and um, we let it come up to room temperature with that set on top of it soaking in. And then I come back again with a paper towel and hit it one more time. So now we're going to do the other side top, bottom, side, left, right, up, however, it doesn't matter. Chuck around though, not really going to matter which way you put this thing on here. It's not as peaky as a brisket with a flat. And the point and different sizes. I mean, it's pretty uniform cut all the way through. Hit it a little bit of garlic. A good piece of meat don't need a ton of seasoning. And smoked paprika is something that I don't do all the time. It is a rarity. But every now and then, again, I do like to pull it out and Hit it up with it. So we're gonna pat that in. Pull some of that seasoning up from the sides. This smoke paprika is gonna give a great color to this thing when it's done as well. Let's see. You know, I think we'll have a little more salt. And then a touch more pepper. Well, I have my light twisted around. Hope it ain't too bad. We're going to push through it anyway. The chuck around. The reason this is a good cut. The reason that it's the best cut other than the brisket on here. And it's the best one for a substitute for brisket. It's called both cuts come from the front quarters of the cow. 
The brisket comes from the, the chest, breast area, comes from the breast, upper chest. And then the, uh, this is a little bit higher than that on the cow. I'll put a picture up here somewhere. If I can find one, if not, I'll draw one up. Show you. But it's not, uh, you'll see why the bottom is super close. Because uh, they're both really, actually, really good cuts of meat. If they're prepared properly. All right. So we got this done now. We're going to uh, go check the grill and see if we get everything up to it. Uh, we'll be on for three hours. We want to pop it open here. See what she's looking like. Oh man, that looks even gorgeous. Take it off. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Look at that. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to take some apple cider vinegar with apple juice. Mix up the spray bottle. We're gonna spray that down. Sorry, I'm going by. We're gonna spray that down, and then um, hold on, one more. We're gonna flip that around, and then after about another hour or two, we're gonna take it and we're gonna wrap it up if the bark is setting pretty good. But we're gonna play it by ear and see. Well, that bark's feeling good now, so yeah, it should be fine. So we're gonna take it. And we're gonna spray it and wrap it. Okay, we that's our wrapped piece of beef. Everything is too temp. We're gonna take it out, put it on our cutting board. This thing gave a fantastic cook this time. Held temperature perfectly. I had no issues whatsoever. Uh, this thing's great, fantastic. Uh, if you just gave it a little bit more smoky smell, and I know that it would if I cooked it a lot slower. Always hungry tonight, so we're gonna cut everything off. Get that fire off the side there. Take a sound. This thing set. We got the round pulled out. It's rested. I pulled out your cut of sauce as you can see, but man, it is fantastic. And we're just gonna slice it. Look at this, this knife. Look at that. Look how easy that is. It just glides right through this meat. Doesn't pull it, doesn't tear it. Keeps that bark intact. Hope you're getting all that on camera. So I'm recording it by myself. But we're going to uh, we're gonna flip it around now because we're going across. With the grain, but that you get the idea of it. We'll get this cut up later. But this is—I mean—the smoke ring's great, the flavor's great. I got zero complaints about the way this turned out on my pit, pit boss. And normally the uh, pellet smokers I'm not that happy with. We got it uh, cut up, sliced up. Not the full thing, yeah, but this uh, this pork man's brisket—it's really good. The only difference. It doesn't have quite the amount of fat that brisket has in it. But it's still marble, really pretty. Plenty of fat in it. It's moist. I think brisket, you, over, you way overcook these things to make, make them tender. I got no complaints with this whatsoever. Stacy tried to buy it. She really liked it. I don't think I've done anything different with this one. At all. I think the season is just right on it. Um, it's very Texas style uh, with a lot of salt and pepper. I throw it in the garlic, and then I hit um, top up with just a little bit of cayenne pepper. So there's a little bit of heat to it, but not bad at all. My new handy dandy knife is perfect for slicing this. It cuts through like it's butter. Oh, which is speaking of, when I did wrap it, after about three to four hours, I put some butter, put three pats of butter on top of it, and then I wrapped everything up, put it back on the smoker, upside down, let it sit in. Nothing's overcooked too bad, out of where it's dried out. It's overcooked in general is what it's supposed to be cooked. But it's not overcooked over that. It is perfect. It's an easy cook. It's a cheap cook. You can do this with any smoker. Especially if you don't want to do the offset smoker. Go pick you up a pellet smoker. And right now, they're, I've seen them as cheap as $200 at Walmart. For a nice size pellet smoker. I just took it down today, actually. So, God, there's no reason not to be out doing this stuff. And then Stacy's still in my barbecue. You were almost on camera. They almost call you. <laughs> but there's no sense not to be doing it. I mean, you can see it. It's got the, it's got the little, little pull like brisket. 
I mean, it's got the, the little interior part of it. It just pulls right apart. It's so good. Got no trouble with it whatsoever. Oh, God. Go buy a smoker. If you don't get into the whole big thing, Pell Smoker is going to do the exact same job, but going to be good enough anyway. You're not going to competition with it, but you're going to make some really good food people can be impressed with. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Look at my hair. I forgot about my hair. I put a hat on or nothing. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to let go, though. Um, my hat's like right here in front of me. Appreciate you guys watching. If you can give us a thumbs up, please do so. Give us a thumbs up. Come leave a comment below. Both those things are free for you. Helps us out tremendously. Go ahead and subscribe. Tell everybody else to subscribe. And we'll come back with, uh, if you got an idea what you want us to cook, let us know. We'll cook anything. It doesn't have to be on a smoker. I can make anything on a smoker, though. So if you got any ideas, we'll put it on a smoker. And uh, with the temperature way it is right now, and no one it's going to rain, rain or not here in Georgia, I've been doing a lot with the pellet smoker. So that's probably what I'm going to do going forward for a little bit right now. Uh, it's something I can mess with the muck out there. But if you want any cooking thing, let me know. See you next time, guys. We are connected to our grill. That's the beauty about these uh, these, these new bell smokers. Now I do use the pit boss. Uh, I got the Laredo, the Platinum Series. It, it works fantastic. But, uh, well, I mean, I gotta go side check this thing. We're almost temp. Uh, we're at 105 degrees. We're going in to 225 where we're gonna smoke it at. We went off, didn't we? Sorry, the long is nasty. It's got fingerprints all over it, but don't look at that part. But it tells you, I mean, everything here, I got no probes hooked in. Which I will have. I put the meat on there. I can turn my light on and off. Change it to uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius. I can actually turn the grill off here, which is an update from the IT Smoke It Smoke It app they had before. This is a much better app, much more efficient. Uh, it's got a lot of cool things on. It's got recipes and everything built into it too. If you need that, so we actually uh, we're at. Sorry about that, guys. Going to 225. We're at 121. So we got far to go. So we we'll let that uh, season set on the meat we have over here, and since this is 25, this goes directly onto the smoker.